What's up everybody, this is John G from becomeabeatmaker.com on Wing Sound. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to load samples in FL Studio. I got the step sequencer loaded up, I got Edison loaded up, and I have the playlist loaded up here. Okay, and I got my browser window open here on the left, and just got you know some kicks here. Okay, so one way you can load in samples is just if you left click and hold any of the samples here in the browser, and then left click and drag it right on over to the channel. Bam. Okay, and another way, you can just left click and drag it right on over to an empty spot, and then it'll create the channel for you. And you can also drag them right on into Edison, you know, and just chop it up or do whatever you got to do. Now, an individual sound, you're not going to need to chop that up unless you wanted to. But nevertheless, you can drag the sample right into here. And also, you can drag the sample right into the playlist. Let me stretch that out a little bit. Okay, so there's a sample there. All right. Okay, so in the same way, you can drag loops. And the cool thing about the loops is that you can chop them up right here in Edison and then drag them right into the step sequencer or the playlist. So let me just grab a loop real quick. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this and just drag it on into the playlist. There we go. So, and then you can just keep on dragging and dropping. You know what I mean? Just drag them right on into there. You can also drag them into the step sequencer. The problem is that if you play it, it's going to run over itself unless you chop it up and time stretch it and all that good stuff. But nevertheless, you can put it in the step sequencer if you wanted to. Like I said, you just have to chop it up and time stretch. It'll just kind of run over itself. Okay. One of the things I really like to do in FL Studio is chop up some samples in Edison and then drag them to the step sequencer. So I can just take this sample right here, this loop, drag it on in there, and then just find the part that I want. Let me just double click this. I'm just going to pick out like a snare or something. Okay. So right in the beginning, there's a snare. Let me just expand that a little bit. And let's see. Should be it right here. Okay, so I'll just bring this back, you know, and then you can just take that snare and then just drag it on into the step sequencer, and bam, there it is. And then if you just wanted to add some effects to it, you can go to your function, add some delay, you know what I mean, add reverb, all kinds of stuff. And last but not least, the other way you can drag in a sample is if you right click on one of these channels, you can go ahead and load samples in that way as well. Play with it, learn it, get good at it, and you'll be banging out heat in no time. All right, John Z signing off. Becomeabeatmaker.com. Join the conversation by following Wink Sound on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology.